Hi guys! So here we are for another uh, episode of my creative year for June 2018 and the topic this month is space. The prompt this week is who occupies your space? That's a really interesting question. You could take it literally uh, or you could take it figuratively or philosophically. I'm not sure how I'm going to take it but I do know that the topic and the prompt inspire a look for my page that I think I want to go forward with. I already have this journal page that I've stuck some of these stickers onto. This is one of my new sticker sets from my Etsy shop and I think we're going to go with that and then I'm going to take my Bic uh, ballpoint pen and I'm going to just messily sketch a rectangle. I want it to be messy so I'm going to go around it two or three times. Yeah, and then I, would, I think I want to do this. Yep. Yeah. All right, then I'm going to get a scrap piece of paper so we can mask this off, and we're going to do some stenciling around it with some of my stencils. So let me get a scrap piece of paper. I'll be right back. I cut it, but I decided to tear it because I, I don't want any of the edges to be perfect. So now I'm going to pick a paint color, and... I think I'm going to pick one of my favorite colors, which is French blue. This is a folk art craft paint. And we're going to need a stencil brush. I have a few stencils in my Etsy shop that have four designs on one stencil. And I took some of them and I cut them apart. And that way I can just use the one element from that stencil. Maybe I want to use that one. Let's see. Let's see, shall we? I do think that is the one, or do I want to use this one? I think I want to use this one. So we're going to go around the edges here. The trick to getting a good stencil is to put a little paint on the brush and then tap it off so you have almost a completely dry brush. And then don't push down too hard. And you'll get a pretty good mark. And as you can see, I haven't reloaded the brush, so a little bit of paint goes a long way. Yep. All right. I have this arrow stencil that I also think I want to use. And um, I think I think I just wanted to use another shade of blue. I was going to use that purple, but I, th I don't think I want to do that. This is a lighter blue. This is the Blue Lullaby. Okay. 
We're gonna dry that and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to take a blue gel pen. This is a Papermate Inkjoy gel pen. And I'm gonna doodle over the stencils, the stenciled arrows. One more. All the while that I'm doing this, I'm thinking about the question this week, the prompt, who occupies your space? And what that means to me in my mind. Okay, and I'm going to take a Uniball Signo in black. I said last week, that, you know, these come in colors. Everybody's used to using the white, but don't forget about the colors that they come in. I'm going to color in some of these lines, um, sketchy lines that I made with the um, Bic pen. Sort of like that, all the way around.
Okay, now I'm going to do some free writing in the center, kind of messily, about what the prompt means to me or what's going through my mind regarding the prompt. I want to use the other pen. Oops. Okay. I really like the way this page is looking. It's, it's really um, um, saying to me um, something about space and the occupying of space and um, what you can do when you're occupying a space. It creates a certain interesting movement on the page. I do like it. I am going to um, go search through my quote box for something, a focal point, and I'll be right back. Okay, I happen to have this set of words right on top that I think are going to work for this. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut them apart. This came from uh, some magazine, I don't remember, or leaflet or pamphlet or... I pick up stuff everywhere that I go that might have images or words in it I can use in my journals. So So we're going to cut them apart, make them look a little neater and cleaner. And this way, too, I can f arrange them so they fit better on the page. And I think I want them right in the middle like that, actually, too. We need some gel medium. Let's see. I'll use this one, I think. I have these little pots of gel medium I need to kind of try to use up. So The trick always is getting it on the crack of the book. So for me, the thing that I do that works best is I take the image or word and I fold it in half and then I put it in and push it into the crack and then push one side down and then push the other side down. Scrape off the extra. When you have thicker pieces of paper like this magazine page was a little bit on the thick side, then it's good to use some kind of medium to glue it down that's also a little thicker and heavy duty, like gel medium. Okay. 
So now I'm going to go back with my Bic pen and just touch up this edge here a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to use some of my lettering stencils. These are from the office supply store. You've all seen me use them before. I'm going to take the medium one, I think. I kind of want to write your space. Maybe your space. Maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe. But do I want it this big or do I want it littler? See, that's the thing. I got a littler one. I might want the littler one. Yep. That one's too big. So this is the um, second smallest. It's not the smallest one. Okay, then I'm going to take a bigger pen, like the Uniball Signo pen, a bigger nib. Actually, um, I have a big crystal that's a broad tip. Here it is. Let's use that one because it's got a bigger nib on it. To fatten up the letters. I like that page. Experience, explore, discover your space and what that means to you. I love this page. All right, so I'm gonna stop there because I'm really happy with the way it looks and what it says. What does the prompt who occupy your, occupies your space mean to you? Journal about it, create some art about it. I'd love to see what you do. I'd love to see you share it over in the Facebook group, My Creative Year, if you're not already a member. Uh, if you are, by all, please, um, by all means, share over there. But if you're not a member and you'd like to be, the link's in the description below. And uh, it's a great uh, little sense of community and art and exploration that we have over there. So I would love to see you all join if you do Facebook. Uh, that's it. Uh, don't forget the most important thing besides like, share, and subscribe. And that is, I'm waiting. Y'all know what that is, right?
<laughs> by now you should know if you're a regular on my channel. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Explore your space and those around you in your space. That's it for today. See you later. Bye, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.